uh, here yes. we are we are starting our second session of this workshop uh, the topic of this uh, of this session is the basic python programming for data analysis it will be taken by mr ritom shaha department of computer science tripura university so ritom sir yes madam uh, you continue you start your session okay hello yes sir hello. you are audible ha is it visible yes sir okay. uh actually my topic is uh, basic uh, of python programming for data analysis before starting uh, first of all we know some little bit idea about the python what is python who invent the python and what is the characteristics and application what are the uses of python using uh, what we can do using python programming okay uh, so basically python is a programming plus scripting uh, language uh, Uh, basically uh, python is uh, scripting programming uh, scripting and uh, it's uh, uh, programming plus scripting programming language so um, before starting uh, programming and scripting programming uh, first of all we know about the difference between programming and scripting uh, programming means uh, a source some source of code which is compiled first and then execute but in scripting language it should be interpreted uh, like uh, c c++ are the programming language uh, python is basically uh, programming plus scripting language okay uh, uh, who in actually uh, who is invent the python uh, in the year 1991 uh, 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 judo van rossum uh, first invent the python basically he is a fan uh, of monty python flying circus which famous tv show in netherlands after that uh it uh, renamed the uh, name in the year 1996 approximately in the year 1996 it will be python okay so what are the characteristics uh, of the python python is uh, object oriented programming language so what is object oriented programming language it support the features of uh, oops concept like class object polymorphism operator overloading function overloading uh, multi uh, mul uh, inheritance okay uh it uh, second point is uh, it's free open source uh, you can uh, easily download and install uh, freely available in uh, in, in uh, web okay uh, it is a powerful programming language because its library is very strong uh, 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 lots of third party library available like numpy scipy tensorflow these are the third party library we can easily install uh, in python then uh using this library we can solve many more uh, complex problem in data analysis for data analysis it is uh, mixable means uh, we can uh, collaborate uh, c c++ code in python integrate in python next uh, what are the application of python so python basically uh, it's uh, uh, freely available code huh? Uh, uh, it is uh, easy level, uh, easy to learn. Python how has uh, some few uh, keyword and uh, simple structure programming language, so we can easily 
learn uh, this uh, software and it can easily readable because uh, lots of uh, uh, codes are uh, uh, written in, in the high level programming language like C, C++, Java. Uh, it uh, it is uh, easy to maintain and uh, we can uh, uh, it uh, board stand uh, library Python bulk of library uh, for uh, better uh, data analysis purpose. Uh, we can uh, connect with the database uh, like MySQL, uh, Oracle, and uh, lots of GUI based application uh, we can uh, run in Python. To, uh, okay. So now, how uh, how we install uh, Python? Basically, in Linux, uh, it is already pre-installed. But in in case of Windows, we need to download. Uh, uh, this uh, link and uh, then after that we uh, we run the python code these are the uh, some standard uh, id to uh, run any uh, python code uh, jupyter spider uh, sublime so where, where is uh, the uh, live uh, id is available in freely available uh, so another uh, important uh, uh, distribution uh, one is uh, Anaconda. So basically, Anaconda is uh, uh, so uh, Anaconda is uh, basically uh, one uh, distribution. Uh, in this Anaconda, uh, the, the uh, Jupyter, Spider, uh, all are integrated in the Anaconda software. Okay. So so uh, so. Uh, how to install Anaconda uh, and uh, uh, Spider? Uh, we can show and how to run any code uh, in Anaconda, Jupyter, and Spider. Uh, it will show. Okay. So first of all, uh, you uh, you need uh, Anaconda uh, Anaconda software in your machine. Need to install. This is this is the Anaconda navigator. Okay. After ensuring Mm, it will show the Anaconda Navigator. In this Anaconda Navigator, uh, okay, this loading. Or, uh, okay, once again. In the Anaconda Navigator, uh, 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 spider uh, spider ID is available mm, in the spider ID Mm. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, the, uh, this one the uh, uh, look and feel view uh, in Anaconda Navigator. Uh, uh, after installing uh, Anaconda, uh, you can uh, see that the uh, in one is Jupiter, another one is uh, Spider. Uh, this uh, two ID for uh, to run uh, any Python code, or you can uh, run uh, Python in normal basic. Uh, you can type ideally okay. uh, this one and then uh, create uh, one new file and then write uh, any python code like for example uh, say a is equal to uh, uh, in, in, in code. Number the B is equal to inch. Again, number. Then uh, you find the sum for it uh, and print the value.
then click on the run and then run module and then save the file say sum dot python action is dot py okay and then save the file okay. uh, it will uh, first enter first number second uh, second number then it will show the result so this is the one way uh, to run any python code so another way is a spider uh, uh -huh, this one so another one is this one pi spider after uh a new file then this is a uh, same code from here and testing here then you can run and it will show and then save the program some in the console window first this is running uh, ah, and first uh, it will prompt uh, to enter the number uh, 23 and uh, say 4 and then it will show the result of second, again, second run ah. so in this way you can run also in spider ideal okay and another uh, third one is uh, jupiter jupiter uh, after uh, say you uh, install the uh, automatically both Jupyter and Spider installed. Uh, then you write the name of the Jupyter, click on the Jupyter notebook, then it will uh, open in your browser. Okay. So, like this. Okay. So, in this browser, uh, so uh, create a new Python. Ah, uh, now uh, you can test your code or write your uh, own code and then uh, uh, run the file. And then enter, uh, it prompt, uh, enter the number first, second, and then it will show the number. Okay. Clear? Uh, so, uh, this. Uh, Three way uh, we can uh, run uh, Python code uh, in Jupyter Spider or a normal uh, Python ID, any ID. So, okay. Uh, uh, say, for example, uh, you want to install any third party library like NumPy, uh, NumPy, SciPy, Panda. These are the most uh, popular library for data analysis. Okay. So after uh, installing the Python, you need to install other third party library uh, like NumPy, SciPy. So how you can install uh, NumPy, SciPy or uh, Panda or Keros, okay. Mm, so you need to Anaconda prompt, okay. After open the Anaconda prompt, here uh, all the steps are given uh, to how to uh, install uh, other library okay so in uh, anaconda you can uh, write the code anaconda prompt uh, conda install write the name of the package or you can uh, pipe pip install name of the package of pip uh, in different version python 2.7 and another one is Ah uh, yes. Ah, uh, in uh, pip uh, install uh, in write the name of the package in Python 2.7 or uh, by after uh, 3.0 version it will be pip3 install uh, package write the name of the package. So say for example I am giving the example. So, pip I want to install, say for example, uh, Pandal. Okay. Or NumPy library. 
Now if we install NumPy, Okay. Uh, say for example, in one different say for example Panda Lab. I want to install Panda. Uh, say pip install Panda. Uh, already installed. Or yeah, Okay. Okay. Uh, this is downloading uh, from internet. So that you to you successfully uh, install. Ah, uh, installing there is library. Uh, it will take a little bit time. Uh, Going, uh, successfully installed here. Uh, so in this way, uh, we can install. Uh, uh, right, fine. Already installed. Fine. So in this way, we can uh, uh, any um, third-party library uh, in Python. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the. Uh, so I am showing that this is just how to uh, run any Python code uh, already shown now. Uh, how we install this is all steps are given or another way is uh, say uh, no need to uh, only install the python id uh, you write the code in let's say for example you write the code in your drive say okay this one okay Some in each drive, it will show some. Uh, click on the command prompt, open your command prompt, go to the H drive, okay. Then write the name of the code some.py. Then uh, it will show you, it will show the answer, okay. This is the C24 way uh, we can run any Python code, okay. All steps are given. Okay. Uh, then, uh, what is uh, indentation in Python? Uh, basically, C, C++, and Java, the uh, bracket concept is there. If you say, for example, we can write uh, any code uh, given one bracket. So, actually, bracket is uh, based, uh, more complex than the code. Uh, so, in Python, uh, indentation concept is there. Indentation means basically blocking. So, Python provides no brace. Okay, to indicate the block of code. So, say for example, given one example, say if true, say if you can uh, give the condition, then colon, then uh, autom uh, automatically uh, four spaces there, okay, then print the code. So, there is a no need uh, to write any bracket, okay, uh, and, and after that, else same level, if and else both are same level, then print and uh, these two print statement are both are same level, indentation, this is the indentation part, okay. So in Python, uh, there are uh, single quote, double quote, triple quote are also uh, there. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, we can write uh, any string uh, in single quote also, double quote also, and uh, triple quote also. And in Python, the comments are uh, done by hash or triple quote also. So uh, in, uh, in Python, uh, variable are uh, not need to write, uh, say for example, in C, C++, or Java, uh, int a equal to 10 like this, or is a is a variable is integer type. But in Python is auto type, uh, uh, auto casting or 
dynamic casting. Say, for example, uh, you write, uh, say, say, for example, uh, say, A is equal to, uh, you write 10, then print the value of A, it uh, show the result. There is a 10. Okay. After that, you change, say, for example, A is RAM, for example, then print A. Automatically, it uh, cast the A variable in stream type. This is auto casting or dynamic casting. But in C++, C++ uh, when you declare any variable, say, in uh, int A equal to 10, uh, yeah, it will never be in the same program. A is the string type of variable, but in Python, it will automatically cast the variable. Okay. Uh, these are the some uh, standard data types, uh, but uh, actually, uh, yeah, um, uh, in C, C++, uh, int float double is a data type, but in Python, the number is number type. Uh, no need to write number a equal to 10 like this. When you write a equal to n, it will automatically uh, sense it will be number type. Uh, second one is uh, string type. Uh, third one is list, couple, and dictionary. A little bit discussion about the uh, number string. Uh, so what is number? Say for example, where equal to one. So automatically, where one is the number type. That two equal to ten. It will also be number type. Okay. So no need to declare uh, this say uh, uh, inch uh, where one equal to ten like this or float uh, where two equal to ten point five like this automatically. Or hmm. uh, uh, when uh, so how to uh, how we can delete any variable uh, in Python? There is a del keyword. So del where one. The after delete the path, for example, I show you that yeah. Say del. Then print delete the variable. You want to print the value of a. It will show an error. Uh, it will show an error. There is uh, a is not defined because already the variable is deleted. But in C C plus there is a no del keyword is there. Na? The one is the advantage is that in Python. And Python string are the same. Uh, string is basically, say for example, um, say uh, you create one, say S, uh, string str equal to uh, Tripura University language, Tripura University. You can write in double code also, you can write in single code also. Both the same, same meaning. Then Automatic, you print the value, say str, it will show the value. So uh, it will show uh, triple university. Uh, you want to uh, say uh, some part of the string, like string slicing, uh, say one, two, four. You substring the, uh, substring the character, okay, it will show. Ship the uh, one. Ah, RIP. So, yeah, yeah. one means uh, say indexing as there. Say P is the zero position. Same C, C plus the same concept. For already, is, this is called forward indexing. Uh, T for zero, R for one. So, it starts from one. It starts from one up to uh, four minus one. That means up to three. Uh, the T R I P. Okay. Clear. Uh, this is the string type. Uh, one, first one is number. Second one is string. Third one is list. Uh, in Python, uh, uh, say you want to store a collection of number or collection of homogeneous or heterogeneous number. In uh, uh, in C C plus there is the array is there, but in Python array is not there in directly. Uh, uh, so, so there is a list type, list and tuple type. So, list is uh, we can store a collection of heterogeneous or homogeneous, heterogeneous data. Uh, say, say one is list, uh, list equal to in third bracket to uh, write the value or store the value. Okay. 
in the uh, third bracket uh, we can store any data uh, in list format say for example say uh, say uh, you want to input say uh, lst equal to say you you want to input user input okay eval using eval function we can five number and print then print the list variable so the enter five number one comma two comma three comma seven comma eight to show the value in this way we can input any list uh, type of data okay uh, or you want to show uh, only some part of the list same the same taking uh, string such uh, like string stretching list such as string also be there say one colon Four. Okay, then it will show starting from one index and up. Deport. Uh, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Uh, and this is the uh, say one, two, and three. And this three index value it will show the three index value. And uh, this is in this way we can store collection of data. Okay, in list format. And same tuple, but basically string and uh, your list and tuple are uh, defined is there. Uh, one is mutable and another one is immutable. Mutable means uh, we can change the value of the list. Say for example, uh, say uh, you want uh, you, uh, in the list. Say for example, one is listed there. Say one comma two comma three comma four comma five. Okay, you print the list value. It will show. Print LST okay then uh, you want to change the say, say third position value so it will be 60 then print LST then in third index it will change say, 0 1 2 3 4 uh, 4 is the third index, then it will change its value. This is called mutable because uh, uh, list is mutable. That's why we can change the value in list. But in case of tuple, we cannot change its value. Uh, uh, in other case, uh, tuple and list are both the same. Both are stored in uh, heterogeneous data. But yeah, another difference is uh, in in case of list, uh, uh, we can store data in third bracket, but in case of tuple, it will be uh, first bracket in this way. Okay. And uh, another um, operation are same uh, list and tuple. Okay. Uh, third, uh, fourth one is dictionary. So, what is dictionary? Dictionary is the uh, uh, when you require any key value pair concept, then you can store uh, the data in dictionary for dictionary so key value means uh, say for example uh, say uh, you want to create one dictionary say dict equal to uh, in second bracket say one is one colon and say a ram two two colon ram like this okay uh, here one and two is the key, and its value is uh, Ram and Sham. Okay, so key should be unique. Uh, no key is uh, repeat or uh, repeat. But uh, value uh, same. Uh, it should uh, should be uh, not required to uh, different. It also be uh, same value. Okay. Uh, after the input, uh, you want to uh, display the same process. So here uh, it show one colon ram and two colon sham. Or uh, you want to display the dict third bracket two. It will show the value of the second key. Mm. 
نظام ہے کہ آٹومیٹکلی Added because uh, dictionary also be mutable, but each key should be unique. Okay, clear. Or uh, you can use array also, but you need uh, you need to install uh, in NumPy library because uh, array is directly uh, available in NumPy library. Say for example. Uh, I'll show how to uh, any uh, array. Mm -hmm. so yes. Ah, no. Ah, this is this is the code. For example, uh, it's one new file. Yes. So uh, uh, here to so import numpy equal to np. Uh, any ID or any name, short name, because we can call this array np dot array. Okay, then uh, we can show and default uh, default value one two three four five, and then print the array in this way. Uh, same save the file dot py. Ah, uh, uh, it show the result one two three four five, and its type is Array type numpy uh, uh, nd array. Okay. So uh, same uh, in C C plus plus we can directly uh, use array, but in Python we need to install numpy library and numpy third party library in your Anaconda prompt, and then uh, we can import the numpy library. Then we can use the array concept. Okay, clear. Yeah. Uh, this is some uh, basic uh, operator, uh, arithmetic operator. Uh, all of you know now uh, arithmetic operator. What is arithmetic operator? This is the arithmetic operator plus, minus, into, divide, modulus. Double star means mm, mm, exponent. So, for example, a double star b uh, say means a to the power b. Say two, two doubles. Say, for example, mm, say, for example, You want to print, but you want to calculate the two to the power three, two double star three, and it will eight. No? So in this way, we can uh, find the exponent. Okay, and double slash uh, is the uh, uh, quotient part. Okay, and single slash is uh, say five slash two means two point five. Say for example, uh, say is the five slash two means two point five, and say a is equal to five double slash two means double slash two means is quotient part means two. Okay, these are the uh, some basic uh, arithmetic operator. Uh, uh, comparison operator or same in C, C plus plus Java, na? No? And double equal to is there uh, not equal to uh, this is also be not equal to okay less than greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to. clear uh, in python uh, uh, and uh, and or and not say for example say you want to write uh, Uh, any code uh, say for we want to find the large number uh, uh, you want to import first number number
hard work. Then uh, you want to check a greater than b. Right here, n. Right then, uh, full n. Then a greater than b. Change the value of a like. This. In this way, you can use uh, logical part. Now, say for example, I mean, so only one check. Like it is now. Uh, So first number is three, second number two, third number one. So largest number is three. Is there. Okay, only write uh, one code. Say for you to write uh, say if same process. L six. Three greater than a and three greater than six then. So okay, fine. Uh, so in this way, uh, we can use uh, and operator and uh, logical operator. Okay, and or not. Okay. Uh, another one is uh, assignment operator. Assignment is uh, equal to uh, plus equal to say uh, two plus. We know this thing. Uh, uh, say a equal to say two plus equal to sorry, uh, a plus a plus equal to c which means uh, a equal to a plus c uh, say for example a is say 5 uh, then uh, a is it a plus equal to c means uh, after the execution of this line uh, it will show a equal to c plus 5 h okay in this way uh, we uh, Plus equal to minus equal to same same thing and there. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, any doubt? Any? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, so next, uh, so how uh, in uh, OOPS uh, okay, so uh, we can uh, run any, uh, say for example, object concept in Python also, okay. So uh, how we can uh, in, uh, run any, uh, how to create a class and object. Hmm. Uh, in, uh, so uh, this is the way, so for example, we can create uh, one class student, okay. Uh, this is the data number, uh, student count equal to zero. Uh, so uh, this is the function, how to how we define a function. In depth, uh, underscore int, this is the constructor also, okay. So self and name comma role. Self dot name, you can store and count is the automatically count the number. Of student, okay. uh, 
and this is the two function one is it will uh, show the result of the count and uh, this is uh, show the student name uh, name and row and in this way we can create object the object one goes to it and this is the uh, two uh, one concept is there in uh, there is a uh, two type of parameter one is name and one is roll number so here is zara is the name and the roll number is two uh, so uh, then you want to create another object say object two equal to student Rule number one. Then uh, you can uh, call the method object one equal to display command. Object one equal to display command. Okay. Display. Um. Then object two equal to. Display student, for example, and you run. Uh, it will uh, show the details about the student. Uh, the total number of student is there two. Actually, there is no need to display count only one time. Ah. Uh, total number of student is uh, two, and uh, first student is named Zara. Roll number is two, and second student is Ravin, and Roll number is one. Okay. In this way, uh, we can create a class and object model in Python also. Okay. Clear. Clear, na? Any doubt or any question from your side? No sir. Oh. No sir. Ah. Uh, Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Another is another technique. Uh, uh, we can uh, run here also. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so for same same code, the file same code. We can copy the file. Copy. Then paste it. Uh, then just okay, fine. Then run the code. Okay, same also. No? So we can easily run in Jupyter and uh, in Spider. Okay, or you can also use uh, normal uh, normal uh, uh, command prompt also. Okay. Not mandatory always. All time is uh, Jupyter and Spider. In case of third-party library, you uh, more comfortable in Jupyter or Spiderbot. Okay, clear. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, any uh, any query from your side? Any query, please ask. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.
thank you ritam sir for your valuable presentation on the topic python programming thank you very much i hope audience got overview of python so audience please be with us uh, i am going to share feedback link with you please fill up the feedback link that will be counted as attendance also so the link will be provided in the google meet now just one minute and uh, tomorrow uh, we will meet at 2 next session tomorrow is at 2 so please join 10 minute before